We're back now with a growing safety concern over the air we breathe when we fly. A number of airline passengers and crew members suddenly falling ill in midair this summer due to what experts believe are toxic events. NBC Stephanie Gosk explains what they are and the danger they pose. A JetBlue flight makes an emergency landing in Buffalo, New York this month. You might have one more there. They're not sure what this smell is. This video from a passenger shows firefighters on board while he starts to feel sort of sick. Like a sharp pain headache. Three crew members went to the hospital. JetBlue says no mechanical issues were found. The incident sounds eerily similar to something American Airlines pilot Dennis Tazer says he experienced in June. We all immediately noticed uh, the smell. Tazer says the fumes came from the engine and smelled like dirty socks. That can incapacitate a pilot, which takes us out of the game, which is a horrific ending. Most planes use a combination of air in flight, a mix of recycled and outside air, which is siphoned through the engine. If a seal breaks, the burning oil can mix with the cabin air, causing a so-called toxic fume event. Flight attendants are experiencing headaches, flu-like symptoms, fatigue, or short-term and long-term memory loss. A new Senate proposal would mandate training for crews, change FAA reporting rules, and require air quality detectors on flights. The bill's sponsors say these toxic fume events happen up to five times a day. The FAA's numbers are much lower. In a statement, the agency writes, the cabin environment in the vast majority of commercial flights is safe. However, we are concerned that if certain mechanical failures occur, the cabin environment may contain contaminants. You are stuck in that metal tube until it gets on the ground. You cannot go somewhere and get a breath of fresh air. With new regulations, flight crews and passengers alike hope everyone will breathe a little easier. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York.